That's right, boys. Welcome to the side of the ring because it's time for some ringside rumors. AW held a talent meeting before Dynamite Grand Slam per Fightful Select. Details were scarce, but it was said to be a pep talk for the roster that was positive. Wow, positively received. Great. The site also spoke to a pair of AEW veterans, one of whom said the last three weeks have been much more laid back than how things were leading up to at All Out. The other said the last three tapings are the best the locker room's been in a long time. That's that's saying a lot. That's that's definitely saying a lot because. Uh, the last three tapings are the best the locker room, the last three tapings. So, and also, one of whom said the last three weeks have been much more laid back than how things were leading up to All Out. So it seems like it's better that Punk isn't there. It seems like it's a lot better that the Young Bucks aren't there, and it's a lot better that Kenny's not there. Well, no, wasn't, I don't know. All I know is, from what I'm hearing, it seems like it's just a lot more, like, relaxed. It's a lot more laid back. It's a lot more chill. I, th I feel as though a lot more people are, are, are less really, you know, stressed out. Um, MJF has been doing the rounds. And when I say doing the rounds, he's been doing a bunch of interviews. And he said that, uh, you know, guys like Cody, guys like CM Punk and stuff like that, when they leave, it's a good thing because it opens up more opportunities for the wrestlers, for the guys in the back who are, what in his words, jumping at the bit to come out and, you know, showcase their skills and stuff like that. So I would argue that this is one of the reasons, you know what I mean? I would argue that um, this is why, this is one of the reasons why they are a little bit more relaxed. And also, I don't know, man. I mean, what does that say about punk? Does that, does that imply that punk was going around just being an asshole? I really don't think so. I just think that, um, I really think that punk and uh, the Bucks and Kenny... I don't know. What does that, what does that say? I thought there was a bug on me, man. I hate having hair. What does that say? Much more laid back than how things were. So maybe because there's just, maybe because it's like out of sight, out of mind. You know what I mean? Like maybe because that's being dealt with in its own, like in its own bubble and they don't have to interact with it. You know what I mean? So I, I assume that that's what they're talking about. Another of Fightful's AEW sources used the term addition by subtraction. What? To describe the current backstage culture, but wasn't specific about who they were referring to. I wonder who the fuck they could be talking about. Whoa, what a head scratcher. With recently, four people have been suspended, and there's talks about one of them not even returning. Addition by subtraction. I, it's, it's, it's impossible to know what they're talking about. In a report indicating that AEW... Okay, all right. I wanted to make sure I didn't skip over anything. In a report indicating that AEW had conversations with Soraya over the summer, which seemed accurate after last night, Fightful also said a source told him Triple H's team was potentially interested in bringing her back to WWE. Too late. Too little too late, WWE. Sorry. Oopsies. Russellnomics' Brandon Thurston shouts out to Brandon, believes SmackDown will remain on Hulu. Oh my heavens, streaming services deal with WWE. Oh, sorry. If the streaming services deal with WWE expires this weekend. Really? Because SmackDown Next Day rights are sub-licensed by Fox to Hulu as a separate deal, eh? Smart. Okay, smart. Okay, so SmackDown's not fully... Okay, so WWE is fully leaving Hulu then. All thanks... See, okay, so it's like the Sony deal that... that uh, it's like the, the deal that Sony has with Spider-Man. Like, he's part of Marvel, but, like, we're doing the thing with... uh We're doing the thing with with Sony. So like he can be in a Marvel movie, but he's also like with us as well. So if we want to make a separate Spider-Man movie, we can, says Sony. So that's essentially what's going on. On September 16th, WWE filed the trademarks for so the WWE filed for trademarks on NXT Europe and NXT Global. So it sounds like Triple H is starting up. You so you remember when he was doing NXT India, NXT Japan, NXT UK? It sounds like he's starting that back up again, which I mean, I'm all for because it seems like that's something that he was really, really adamant on doing. And then that whole um, AEW lost the Wednesday Night Wars thing, and then Triple H lost his uh, his spot, you know, as as the head of NXT and all that. But now that he's the head of creative, okay, suck it, Vince. Now we can do that again. So, 
Really, only time will tell um, what that entails and where that's going to go. But hey, I'm happy for Triple H. I'm happy to see that he now gets to take all of his toys back out of the toy box and he gets to play with them again. So more power to him. What do we talk about? AEW Talent held a meeting. It was positive. Good to know. The site also spoke to a pair of AEW veterans who said that it's actually better that Punk and the Bucks and Kenny aren't really here because it adds less stress, which makes a lot of sense. Another Fightful's AEW sources use the term addition by subtraction. So again, good thing that they're gone. I really think that they're referring more to CM Punk than they are to Kenny and the Young Bucks because Kenny and the Young Bucks didn't really do anything wrong. And seeing as how Punk kind of like, seeing how Punk was like, hey, they're the ones who came at me. Like, no man, no, it's not really putting them in a good light. So I feel like they're really referring to Punk more than they are referring to Kenny. Uh, Fightful said a source told Triple H was trying to get Paige. He took too long, man. You, you didn't pull the trigger fast enough. I don't know what to tell you. Um, SmackDown could remain on Hulu because of the Fox deal, like Spider-Man being able to make as many movies as he wants to because of Sony, right? I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. And also, um, okay, no, I already said that. And then, uh, WWE filed for trademarks for NXT Europe and NXT Global, that's right. Triple H is bringing his toys back out because fuck you, Vince. Okay, boys, that's gonna do it for the rumors. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one.